Welcome back to Showbiz Tonight. It is 30 minutes past the hour. I'm AJ Hammer in New York. We've got big news breaking tonight. The millionaire matchmaker on fire. Yeah, the matchmaker to the rich is now tackling the famous right here on Showbiz Tonight. Patty Stanger breaks news to Showbiz Tonight. Why did she just tell us Jessica Simpson's relationship is doomed? And why does she think Justin Thoreau is the one for Jennifer Aniston? With me tonight for his take on the matchmaker on fire, love expert Darren McMullen, the host of NBC's Love in the Wild. Good Hello. to see you, Darren. So Jennifer Aniston... You too, I missed you. Thank you, we missed you as well. Listen to this. Jen Aniston reportedly just back from a two-week vacation with her boyfriend. There are reports they are planning on living together, but the millionaire matchmaker isn't thrilled Justin left his girlfriend of 14 years for Aniston. Watch what she just told Showbiz Tonight. I like him for her. I just don't like the way it went down. Now, do I know what went down behind closed doors? No. But this girl's left at the gate for 16 years. You know, and I said to her, call me because I'll fix you up when, you, when you've gotten over and grieving. And I just think that even though I don't know if she did it like Angelina and stolen from the movie set, you know, sometimes when a guy sees a woman, he knows. And that's what happens. And they will leave a mate, as you saw with Tori and Dean. You know, they left their mates. And, and soulmates do happen while you're with somebody else. I just felt bad for the girl. But I do think he's good for her because he's kind of like the guy that's on the A-team but not really an A-lister, meaning he produces really great movies, you know, and he makes great movies that he's in, and he writes, and he's this, and he can let her shine, which he doesn't need the spotlight 24-7. You know, the Mark Anthony's of the world need the spotlight all the time. Yeah, she calls it like she sees it. Darren, does Patty have a point to you? Should we be worried about how these two got together? Well, you know how much I like Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> well. um, I, I, you know, I, I think uh, she, she does have a point, uh, but th what she's missing is he is in the industry and he is technically an A-lister and people in the entertainment industry are egotistical and narcissistic. I know because I'm one of them. It's all about <laughs> grabbing the spotlight whenever you can. And the reason behind it, this is an industry you have to be crazy to get into. You know, only 5% of this industry is ever working at any one time. Only two and a half percent of that five percent working are actually the ones making some serious dosh and, and making the movies or the or hosting or doing whatever so it takes so long to get to that point in your career and you've worked so hard to get there and clambered over so many people that it takes a lot of compromise to to, uh, to work in a relationship and if you've got two people at the top of their game and they're, they're both on different paths and, and, and wanting to go in different directions one of them at some point has got to compromise to come down and, and live a normal life with the other and and what often happens is one person's not prepared to do that after yeah. the hard work they've put in to, to get to that point. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. I, I do wish them all the best. I do want to yeah. bring in Lisa G right now, on-air reporter for the Howard Stern Show on Sirius XM Satellite Radio. So Jen and Justin have been going strong for about three months together, mm -hmm. and now, Lisa, there's talk that they're planning to cohabitate. Uh, do you think it's too soon? I think it's a little quick. But, you know, you get to a certain age, AJ, yes. you know when it's right. You, you don't know when Cupid's arrow is going to strike you, and that's what happened. He was with, with this other woman, what, for 16 years, they didn't get married. That tells you something. It just clicked. It's right. Go for it. Yeah, and obviously, he knew what he was getting into with all the scrutiny Jen has always faced over her love life. Everybody wants to know every detail. So, look, again, I, I wish them all the best. Maybe it will work out. But I got to tell you, the millionaire matchmaker was not as hard on Jennifer Aniston, not nearly as hard as she was on Jessica Simpson. She's breaking news to showbiz tonight that she thinks Jessica's relationship with her fiancé, former NFL star Eric Johnson, it's got the writing on the wall. Listen to what she tells us. He doesn't have a job. That's the worst thing. And he went to Ivy League. So it's like, what's the deal here? Seriously, get a job. I'm sure Joe's not thrilled at that because Joe built an empire for his kids. And I do think there's going to be trouble in paradise at some point. You're going to, a woman eventually dries up when she's doing everything. She's the mother, she's the wife. And then she becomes, you know, the father too to the whole prosperity consciousness thing. Yeah, I don't think Jessica signed up to be the father here. She and Eric have now been together for over a year. And all I've heard is how much they're in love. But Darren, to Patty's point, is love enough? Should Jessica be worried that she's going to be the one bringing home the bacon in this relationship and not her, not him? No, I mean, 
I think it's a bit rough to say that it's doomed because because of that reason. Let's be honest, fifty three percent of marriages are doomed before they even start. That's the, st the statistics. They're out there. Whether you meet somebody on television or in a local bar or a cafe, you know, we just don't know what works. And maybe that's just the way life is now. You know, we're not meant to be in monogamous relationships for our whole life. I don't think there's anything wrong with with riding the wave while it's good. You know, if they're madly in love, go with it. And you know, if they bring up beautiful kids together fantastic but if it comes to one point in their life where they're not having fun with each other anymore then move on and, and, and split up and go with different people and, and, and leave that beautiful memory in the past there's, there's nothing wrong with that you know to, to riding the wave so I say go for it you know well we certainly have seen plenty of relationships in Hollywood and, and obviously in real life breaking up over the fact that women make more money the, the woman makes more money than the man what do you think Lisa G oh, Jessica's boy. fame and fortune gonna get in the way in this particular situation uh, after a while AJ you don't want some guy sticking to you like velcro have Joe put him to work in the family business he's got to do something look if he's a stay-at-home dad once they have kids that's fine. That happens in many relationships. But right now, I mean, go out and do something. But do you think it's going to be a problem for him? You know what I'm saying? That's where it's often an issue in real-life relationships is after a while the man, you know, it's not as much that she feels like I'm supporting you. It's like I, I should be the one bringing, you know, it's that machismo thing, well, I which think is all that, nonsense if you ask me. <laughs> the alpha male. Yeah. Well, if that were a problem right now, I think he would be working somewhere or doing something. You don't want to sit home and play Scrabble all day, do you? Well, maybe maybe tweet. some people do. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's move on I now to a scrambled. marriage that no one saw coming until the moment it happened. I'm talking about Tara Reid. Now, Tara just married her boyfriend, Zach, uh, two hours after they got engaged. Showbiz and I just obtained a first look at the wedding photos. I can't believe they were able to get a photographer there in time. This comes from Life and Style Weekly today. So, does the millionaire matchmaker think this could possibly work? Here's what she told Showbiz tonight. Tara Reid the other day, what, she got engaged on Friday and got married on Saturday? Whatever. How long does she really know this guy? Every time we turn a paper, she's dating someone else. So when you make these decisions, I think you need to spend at least a year with someone getting to know that with them, and that does not mean moving in. You know, like when Justin moved to L.A. for Jennifer, he could get to place, he can afford it. Why does he need to move in with her? Because they're rushing. Everything's rushing. Where's the fire? Where is the fire? So many people are asking the same question today. Darren, let me get your take on Tara Reid's two-hour turnaround. Love at first sight or just a bad move here? Come on, what do you think? I think it's an incredibly bad move. I was engaged once, AJ. I made the mistake of getting caught up in that hysteria and thinking I was madly in love. I was madly in love with this girl, and this was like nothing I'd ever experienced before. Uh, I proposed within eight months. We did live together for eight months, though, and, and we realized after two years, it's like, hey, we love each other so much, but there's more to, to a relationship than that. There's timing, and we both have to have the, the same goals for each other, so we both compromised to the, to the point where we weren't even the same people anymore which is very dangerous so you really I, I think Patty's undershooting it a bit I, I really don't think you know somebody well until three years you know I've I've dated girls for three and a half four years before uh, and then we've, we've, we've split up you know so <laughs> I think then, you really the ugly came out there and I, I guess that's what happened let me get Lisa's take on yeah, this three <laughs> years every girl's going oh. very quickly can this work I'm a romantic I want to believe it can but yeah. two hours no I mean mm. you have to look at her track record AJ it's not so good what is the rush? I agree with Patty. All right. Lisa G., I appreciate your opinion. I appreciate Patty's opinion. And Darren McMullen, good to see you as always, my friend. You too. Thank you. Thank you. And as we move on tonight, here's a question. Is American Idol homophobic? There's a shocking claim coming from the voice of Adam Levine. You have to stick around to hear why he says Idol wants its gay contestants to hide their true selves. And does former Idol judge Simon Cowell really want to sign Pippa Middleton? Yeah, sure, she's famous. But can Duchess Catherine's sister even sing? That is next. This is Showbiz Tonight on HLN News and Views.